Hi, is this the 24-hour Rite Aid? This is Lena calling. Yeah, it's so good to hear your voice. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get my Clonopin refilled, my Lexapro refilled, um, the the other kind of Clonopin, like the wafer, the wafer that dissolves on your tongue, and a bunch of Zantac. Thank you so much. This question comes from Nikki J in Croton on Hudson, New York. How can I stop being jealous of other people's good fortune? I almost immediately think, why didn't that happen to me? I wanna be happy for others, not mean-spirited. My dad taught me this expression, which is a rising tide lifts all boats. And I really think that's true. Being a woman in Hollywood, there's a big sense that if she has it, then I'm not gonna have it because there's only room in this town for the one of us. And when one person has success, especially if they're a friend of yours, it allows them to be generous with you and to pull you forward. And if you're generous with them about their success, I guarantee you they'll wanna be generous back to you. I also think that all the time you spend being jealous of other people is time you're not spending focusing on your own vision for yourself and pushing forward. Make a fatty to-do list and just hit that shit hard. I guarantee you when you feel excited about your own pursuits, you are not gonna be you're gonna feel, be too narcissistic to even worry about what she's up to. And at the end of the day, as they say in Alcoholics Anonymous, a place I have never been except to support a friend, keep your side of the street clean and they can worry about their side of the street. My name is Lena Dunham and my book, Not That Kind of Girl, A Young Woman Tells You What She's Learned is for sale September 30th. I hope you buy it and even if you don't, I'll still be your friend, maybe. <laughs>